Hi guys, Mrs. Anktill from Sunset School here to read a story to you called The Glorious Flight Across the Channel with Louis Lario by Alice and Martin Provinson. This is a nonfiction story. It all began one morning. Mr. Louis Blario, his oldest daughter, Alceste, his daughter of four years, Charmaine, his third daughter, Suzette, his son, Jeannot, their mama, Alice, and the baby, Gabriel, also the cat, Minou, their little dog, Arsene, and the big cockatoo, Chloe, have just had their breakfast. The year is 1901. The place is the city of Cambrai in France. It's a beautiful day, the sun is shining, Papa Blario and all of his family, except Minu the cat and Chloe the cockatoo, are going for a ride in their shiny new car. As they roll up the street, they hear far above in the sky a strange sound. Clackada, clackada, clackada. Hark, says Papa Blario. He does not look where he is going. Just ahead on the narrow street is the wagon of Alphonse Jouvet, full of pumpkins, also his son Cesar, and many cabbages. You can kind of guess what might happen next. Crump goes the car into the cart of Alphonse Jouvet. The strange sound from the air is forgotten. Papa Blario was driving very slowly, but even so, the cart is on its side. Pumpkins all over. No one is hurt, but there are bruised cabbages and angry faces. Fists are raised. The policeman, Ache Duval, poises his pencil when... Clackada, 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 clackada! Out of the clouds, right over their heads, soars a great white airship and a man sitting in a basket, driving it through the air. <gasps> what a wonderful sight. It is the first airship seen over the city of Cambrai. Papa Blario invites everyone to the cafe. They toast the valiant aeronaut and each other. And Cesar, the brave Juve boy and the pumpkins, everyone is happy. Everyone but Louis Blériot. Now he has only one wish. He says to his family, I too will build a flying machine, a great white bird. We will work hard. We will all fly through the air like swallows. So here is Blériot one. No one is small enough to sit in it, but Minu, and she will not. It has a little motor to make its wings flap. Alas, it flaps like a chicken. Never mind. This is more like it. Here is Blario too, a glider, big enough to hold a man. Papa has not yet learned to pilot, so Gabriel Wasu, his good friend, will fly. A motorboat will tow it into the air as the glider has no motor. All is in readiness. Gabrielle gives the signal. Away soars the motorboat. Like a great swan, the beautiful glider rises into the air and shoots down into the river with a splash that frightens the fishes. Gabrielle Voissa is wet but not hurt. Ah, we almost flew, he says. Papa has decided to learn to fly himself. Blario III has a fine motor and propeller, but it will not take off from the water. So Papa gives it two motors and two propellers to make Blario IV. Blario IV goes in beautiful circles. <laughs> Papa is learning. Blario V hops over the ground like a rabbit. Papa is getting lots of practice, but Blario the sixth, it sails across a whole field before it hits a rock. Not so bad.
And with Blario the seventh, Papa has an aeroplane that can really fly. No matter that the inevitable happens, uh, a slight crash, a broken rib, a black eye, and to the list, uh, oh, to add to the list of breaks, sprains, and bruises over the past six years. Now Papa is a real flyer and the Blario is a real aeroplane. How proud Alceste, Charmaine, Suzette, Jeannot, Gabrielle, and Mama are. Only one thing remains, to prove how good the aeroplane is, to show the world what it can do. As if to light the spark, a great prize is offered to the first man to fly across the English Channel. 20 miles wide, black tossing waves, fog and rain, a very cold bath, a long swim, it is a dangerous prospect. Just what Papa likes. On July 25, 1909, as the sun rises, Papa Blario walks with his crutch, mm, a minor flying accident, nothing serious, out to the field where his plane, Blario the 11th, waits. He kisses Alceste, Charmaine, Suzette, Jeannot, Gabrielle, and Mama Blario. Papa climbs into the cockpit. His friend, Alfred LeBlanc, spins the propeller. It is 4.35 in the morning. The motor coughs, sputters, roars. Down the grassy field, Blario, the 11th, bumps. She picks up speed and suddenly, climbs into the sky. The French coast disappears. Far below is the destroyer as Copette, waiting to pick up Papa if his motor fails, if they can find him in time. 10 minutes tick by. The waves reach up to catch the tiny plane. Now there's nothing but swirling fog no France, no England, no waves. Papa is alone, lost. He sits motionless, not touching the steering lever and lets the plane go where it will. Suddenly, the white cliffs of Dover flash beneath him. A wonderful moment. 36 minutes after taking off from France, Papa is over England. Papa stops his engine and makes a very bad landing. As usual, ah, never mind about a broken propeller. Louis Blériot is in England. He flew there in 37 minutes. What a shout goes up. Truly, it was a glorious flight. And that's the end of the story. Um, I chose this because many of us know about the Wright brothers. I thought this might be a historical figure we're not familiar with. And I also thought it would be fun um, to make a quick paper airplane. So you can use any paper. Um, scratch paper is fine. So what you want to do is fold your paper in half. Kind of line the corners up. Crease it pretty well. And then open your paper and you can see this line is going to be a guideline. Take one corner and fold it down and you want to make a straight line here with the guideline, creating a triangle. You want to do a triangle on the other side, hopefully matching the lines right here and creating a tip up at the top. If it's not perfect like mine, it's okay then I like to do it a second time. So we're gonna start on this side, fold it down to make that straight line here, press your crease in, and then same thing on this side. Takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of practice if you've not made a paper airplane before. Fold the crease down, okay? So you can see the shape here. Now, fold it in half, 
pressing everything carefully. And then this shape doesn't matter too much. Just kind of fold it in half like this. Make sure you press down your crease. Then you're going to flip it to the other side and you're going to match the same shape. So I'm looking at the line here that I made to try and make this one, the wings, about the same. And then right here's where I can pinch it. I'm going to open it up a little bit and you can see my wings. And I apologize to the person helping me with this filming because <laughs> she's going to try to film me testing out my paper airplane. And just like Papa Blario, if it doesn't fly, if it doesn't work, no biggie. I'll go back to the drawing board and try it again. So here we go. Little short flight, one more, one more. I might have to make another one later. Woo! Uh-oh, I think it landed in the pond. Okay, bye guys, thanks for watching.